Okay, this is La Folia for violin two. Um, a couple things to look at before we start playing. So starting at D, you are now going to be repeating what the first violins did between A and B, but now you'll be playing the same thing from D to F. So you guys are going to start in second position. So you're going to slide your second finger up to your third tape. Your third finger will fall on your fourth tape, and your first finger is going to fall on that C sharp, your one tape. When you get to the third measure of D, I'll show you the grace note in the trill in a second, but the notes here, you're gonna play second finger for D, and then you have to make sure you slide your first finger back because it's a C natural, so you want it in that low two spot between the two tapes. In the following measure, so the fourth measure of D, you can see we have our third finger up on that fourth finger tape in second position for the E, and then you see the dash now that three is going to be a two in third position. So we're just going to slide up and replace our third finger with our second, which now means our third finger is going to play for the F natural. So it's a half step, so they should be touching. And then the G is a fourth finger, and it should be a whole step. So once you get to third position, second finger on the tape, third finger right next to it, half step, and then a whole step to four. And then a couple measures later, you will shift back to first position, and that's where you'll stay once we get to F. Um, the counting at F, you're going to play one, two, and three, one, and two. It's very important that you count because the first violins are gonna have this same rhythm earlier in the measure so that we end up hearing one, and two, and three, one, and two, and three. So you guys will pass this rhythm back and forth, so just make sure you keep counting. At G, you have that dotted rhythm with the pressed bow, so one and two and three, down, two, and. Just watch you're getting that bowing with everybody else. And then your other spot is at J. So at J, you're going to be playing 16th notes with the first violins. However, the first violins are going to be playing sets of four. Their notes are more repetitive. Your hand, your left hand, is going to essentially be playing eighth notes. One and two and three and one and two and three and. But your right hand is going to be playing sixteenth notes. So something that's going to help a little bit is to put almost like a little more pressure, almost an accent, at the beginning of each set of four, of four sixteenth notes. or even every time your left hand changes. For J, when it's fortissimo, you can play between your balance point and the middle of your bow. And then when we get to K and you have these 16th notes, you're gonna to wanna to be a little bit closer to the middle and you wanna make sure you're letting your wrist and your fingers do some of the work. Because you have that string crossing, if you're too close, it's going to be too hard. If you're too far out, you have too little control. So right in the middle will help you make that string crossing with the 16th notes. So I'm going to play through this whole piece for you. I will stop and reset the metronome. Um, at the beginning, I will set it for 68. At B, I will set it for 80. At D, I'm going to leave it at, I'm going to reset it for a hundred, so you know what that should sound like at that speed. And then when we get to H, I'm actually gonna leave the tempo at 100 so that you can practice along with it a little bit easier. So here we go starting at the beginning. One, two, three. <laughs>
to reset that tempo for 80. Starting at B, one, two, three, one. Two full measures and one, two, three, one. the tempo to 100 so you know what this theme should sound like a little bit faster one two three oops sorry one two three We would speed up to 120, but I'm going to keep it at 100 right now. One, two, three. Just to also go back and look at that trill. I left it out. So look three measures after D. This is where we have the grace note and trill. The first thing we have to do is just make sure we're getting the rhythm. One, two, three, and a one. One, two, three, and a one. So those 16th notes come on the end of three. Once you get the hang of playing that rhythm, then we add the grace note right before the D with a third finger. One, two, three. Once you get the hang of that, then we add the trill in. So the trill, you want to make sure you hear the D and then you quickly trill back and forth a couple times between second and third finger. And you want to make sure you hear the D at the beginning of the note and the end of the note. Okay. 
The last thing I wanted to focus on was just J. It would be very helpful to play with your metronome slowly. <laughs> gradually speed up the tempo there so that you can get up to at least 100 because the goal is 120. So in these faster sections especially make sure you're using that metronome starting it slow and gradually increasing the tempo.